Hello and welcome to my video on how to create your own wallpaper engine wallpaper. I'm Sean from Fix and Forget and what you see on your screen right now is the type of background I'll be walking you through creating today. First of all what you want to do is open up wallpaper engine. When that is loaded you want to click on the wallpaper it is a button located at the top right hand portion of the screen. You should be prompted with this screen which gives you the option to use a template or create a wallpaper. I just click use a template button. Then you can name your wallpaper. I'm going to name mine FAF Subscribe, just as a little hint of what's good for you. Um, for today, we're going to be selecting the 2D scene and selecting the resolution of your background. I'll be leaving mine at 1920 by 1080 and then click the OK button. Now, the fun bit to add your main elements to your background, you'll want to click the Add Acid button in blue. Then you'll be prompted with a whole section of presets and renderable layer options. Everything here from adding a clock to making it look like the opening scene from a certain movie franchise I am not willing to mention. But what I'm going to be doing is adding an image layer first of all. Which will be my YouTube cover photo which is on my channel homepage which you should definitely be subscribed to. Select your photo. Click OK. Once that's loaded you want to zoom out using the scroll wheel on your mouse. You'll see your image in the preview window. Ensure you have the multi tool active and you should see these controls. The yellow box is for moving the image. The green arrow is for vertical scaling. The red arrow is for horizontal scaling. And the blue ring is for rotation. And now I've ruined that, let's undo that. Now we get a chance to add some great effects which we saw earlier. Click the Add Acid button. We're going to go for Stars, like that movie franchise I was on about. You can also change the Star Circle. Shooting Stars in this preset. Let's just go for Star Field though, because I'm quite a fan of that. You can set the center of this to the center of your... Well, that's about it. That looks very fast for me though, so what I'm going to do... On the right hand side you can just preset values in within the window. I'm going to set the playback rate to around half and maybe the opacity down a little bit. And I'm going to make it so there's more stars flying at you. Okay, now that effect looks really nice. Next we can add some mouse sensing effects. Let's go to add preset again. This time we're going to select particle systems. We're going to go for follow cursor. Click OK. Now you can see this follows the cursor. It makes sense, doesn't it? But that looks too bright to me, so what I'm going to do is there's an over bright setting in the general tab. I'm going to turn that down to about half. See now that looks a bit better. And what else I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size. I right, let's just start small and end big. So now there is a different effect. I'm going to change the colour to a more purple vibe to match the background. And the orange to more of a red. Oh, look at that. Perfect. That's what we want. Okay, so I'm going to click select. And now you should be able to see that that is following my mouse. Might make it slightly bigger. And I'm going to change the colour in here to more of a brighter purple. Maybe there's more of a, yeah, a brighter purple. Up the playback right again. There we go, look at that. Some finishing touches and you're ready to apply your wallpaper, which is in the drop down menu within the window. What you want to do is you want to click File, Apply Wallpaper, then close all your windows, and now you'll get to test it. Now you can see the mouse flicks and the little franchise styling. No names again. Okay, now if you want your wallpaper to be downloadable via Steam, um, you want to click on Steam tab at the top, click Prepare Wallpaper for Publishing. You can name it and leave a small description like, please subscribe. 
I don't know where that's come from. Click use genre. I'm going to go for CGI. My skin color is obviously purple. You just take a snapshot of the wallpaper. Click enter. And now that you've got a nice preview image, you can set your publicity to public and you can change your age rating, but I'm just going to go for everyone. And click publish. And that's it guys, that's pretty much everything. Thanks for watching, I've been Sean from Fix and Forget.